back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It's so good to see you again. Oh my goodness, I have been so busy, I can't even see straight. <laughs> well, I'm going to be uh, taping two different videos today. The first of which is this one, and it's going to be uh, my caramel corn and how I make caramel corn. Oh my goodness, it's an easy recipe, another easy one, it makes a ton. And I am gonna be packaging up two little special care packages for my hairdresser and my nail lady, both of which I go to see tomorrow, which is Thursday. So uh, tomorrow will be Thursday, today's Wednesday. <laughs> so, uh, and then the second one I'm gonna be videotaping and showing you tomorrow, I guess it will be in this video. It, Chris and I went to Williamsburg, Virginia yesterday and I didn't buy a ton of stuff. But I did buy some things that I will share with you what I did purchase. I uh, bought a few gifts that I can't show you, <laughs> but I'll show you what I bought, you know, to put here in the house and, you know, a few other things. So I'll share that with you. I didn't really take pictures of us going to Williamsburg or while in Williamsburg. We just wanted to go and spend the day together and have a good time. So I did not do any videoing, but I will definitely share the haul with you. <laughs> All right, now, so let's, I'm not gonna yammer on here uh, for a long time here at the beginning. So other than to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your wonderful comments on my fudge video. Oh my goodness, you guys really like that peanut butter fudge. And then on my little snowman in my galvanized uh, tub video and Hobby Lobby haul and all that wonderful comments thank you and i've not been able to get back to all of you on that particular one i'm trying <laughs> but i i gave you all hearts on our way home in the car and it's really hard on my phone to respond and then when we got home last night i i collapsed and didn't move and then today to be quite honest with you guys i'm dealing with a, a migraine here so if my words get a little discombobulated please forgive me <laughs> i'm going to try my best here to get through this um it's weighing on me i need to do this not necessarily the video but i just need to do the caramel corn and i want to bring you guys with me while i do it but i am struggling with a little bit of a migraine today and just to tell you guys, I, I do not take prescription medication. Most of you know this already. I do not take prescription medication for my migraines and I don't need to see a doctor about them or anything like that. So no worries. This is something that I've had to deal with my entire life. My mama, bless her heart, hopefully gave me a lot of good qualities, but this is the one thing I wish she had not passed down to me. She had horrible migraines, my poor mama did horrible migraines and I never got a migraine. I have never in my whole life gotten a migraine like she suffered with. Uh, but I do get them every now and again. And now that I'm about through menopause, I don't really get very many of them. But I think the stress of the season, you know, is starting to get to me a little bit. And, you know, I'm not surprised that I kind of have been getting one and I uh, have popped three Advil <laughs> before I started the video. So hopefully that will diminish the pain a little bit enough to, so that I can function here. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna turn my camera and I'm going to first go through the ingredients with you guys and then I'll get set up on an easel or on my, on an easel. I'm gonna set my camera up on an easel for crying out loud. On my tripod here and we're gonna get uh, popping some popcorn and making up some caramel corn. Okie dokie, first thing I wanted to do was to go through the ingredients with you guys and show you what I use and what always works for me. So if you guys want to uh, stray from this recipe, do so at your own risk. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would work out in any other way. Again, I've been given this recipe several times throughout my life and this is kind of how I've honed in on what I like to do and made it my own. So. But anyway, I call, here's my recipe card, caramel corn, and I will take a nice a, a flash shot of that so you guys can copy it down. I'll also put it in the description of this video so that you guys can copy it down from there if you want to. But anyway, I use Pop Secret Movie Theater Butter Microwave Popcorn. Six bags of it. This makes a ton of caramel corn. In fact, it fills up this whole container. Check it out. This is the container I put it in. Six bags so of Pop Secret Movie Theater Butter 
popcorn, a whole package, a whole pound of real butter. I use real butter. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Four cups of brown sugar. So those are the ingredients. And now we're gonna get to popping some popcorn. Let's do that first and then I'll show you how we put together our little mixture to pour over the popcorn. All right, be right back and we're gonna get to popping and a cooking. Okie dokie, here we go guys. I should, I think we should be able to get all the popcorn popping and then me pouring it in here to a roasting pan. I'm gonna, it's gonna take two roasting pans to do this. So it says on the pop secret box not to use the popcorn button on your uh, microwave but I have done this so many times that I know that the popcorn button on my microwave works just fine. So I am going to use it. <laughs> so I am obviously going to go into fast motion because you do not want to sit through all of this popping of the popcorn. But I thought it might be cool to put it into fast motion and watch the popcorn pop. <laughs> all right. There we go. Okie here I am at my stove here. I'm going to start with melting up this butter and getting this goodness going here. And a recipe that I was given a long, long time ago had half of these ingredients, like it only had half a pound of butter, but the same amount of popcorn, but it only had the half amount of butter. Up, oh, hang on, let me go switch out my bag of popcorn here. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back here. Let me turn my heat back up a little bit. Got my second bag of popcorn. Talk about multitasking. Oh my goodness. Anyway, as I was saying, that recipe called for half of all these ingredients. And when I went to pour it on all of that popcorn, it barely covered it, you guys. I'm like, well, who in the world wants caramel corn with hardly any caramel taste or crunchiness to it, you know? So I tried it one year. This has been a long, long time ago, but I doubled it one year. And buddy, did that go over well. <laughs> I am, that's the way I've been, do, I've done it ever since. So, a whole pound of butter, and I need four cups of brown sugar here. It's one. It's two. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. And there's my next thing of popcorn. <laughs> Get this stirring up. And you're gonna wanna bring this to a boil.
back to stir a little bit more. I do want to slow it down here and tell you what I'm doing here. This is the first bag that's done. This is the fourth bag I popped here. This is the first bag that's done. But it left me with some kernels. So be sure to kind of sift through them as you pour it and, and see if there are any unpopped kernels. And go ahead and pick those out. Nobody wants to get that stuck in the tooth. So be real careful about the unpopped kernels to a boil here and now the most important thing to do now is to sit stand here and stir it and you can see the the oily butter that's kind of come to the top I have no idea how long this takes just a couple to a few minutes but just stand and mix this until that oil combines with the rest of the mixture and you're going to be able to see it change over here and do not take it off of the stove until that com combining has occurred or it will, won't work as well for you. I don't know how long it is. I guess I could try to time it. It's been about, about a half of 30 seconds popcorn's about ready to be done too. So that's about a minute. I'm just gonna wait on that popcorn a minute until this gets done doing what it's doing. You can already see it starting to combine. Can you see that? about a minute and a half so far. I can still see some on the sides though, so I'm gonna keep stirring for a little bit. It also lightens up in color a bit. Can you see that? I hear you, microwave. Well, that's actually, that's my oven getting to temperature. Preheat your oven to 250. I think I forgot to say that at the beginning. Oh, there you can see it's nice and combined now. Maybe just a I would say no more than, it's not going to take more than two minutes, you guys, doing this. On my stove, anyway. Of course, it might take yours a little bit longer, so don't, you know, hold me to that two minutes. <laughs> yours might take a little longer. And boy, does that smell good. And, you know, another thing I must warn you guys, be super, super careful with this. This is hot, obviously hot candy. So, you know... There we go, that is done. Now, I'm gonna set it aside and get my popcorn done here. I'll be right back. So we got one more bag to pop. I'm gonna go ahead and pour half of this mixture onto this bit of popcorn. That's three bags of popcorn in this roasting pan. Can you see that? There we go. That's three bags of popcorn. And I have no idea what half of this mixture is. I'm just eyeballing it here. And then as quick as you can, start mixing it. And try to cover all of the kernels. Now, can you imagine half of that caramel mixture on 
this and a whole nother three bags it was terrible. I hardly had enough to go over every kernel. I'd rather have too much caramel than not enough, you know what I mean? Hello. You know? And then what we're going to do when I get that popcorn done and pour the rest of this mixture over that, I'm going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it for 40 minutes. But after 20 minutes, you're going to take it out of the oven and going to mix it up a little bit. After 20 minutes. Hear that popcorn just a popping. Okay, you can see I've got about just about it all. Caramel on it, just about every piece. And I know we have about 30 seconds on that popcorn there. So here we go, that's good. Set this over here. Just about done. Here we go. Right, here we go. And this one's going to be harder to stir because it's a deeper and narrower pan. But diligently working. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and give it a stir and cook it for 20 more. You know, okay, my timer just went off. It's been 20 minutes. So let me It's hard to get there from here. <laughs> that camera. You can see it's nice and dark already. Just literally just give it a stir. Be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm just preparing my tins with a little bit of saran wrap. I decided I did not want to use Ziploc bags, so I've lined them pretty much with saran wrap. It doesn't have to be pretty. But I just wanted to cover, even though I've washed the tins, I don't want to, you know, put the corn, the caramel corn on, a, you know, in there without some kind of protection. So I just took saran wrap and just stuck it down in there it's not necessarily beautiful but I am going to fill it up with the caramel corn put the lid on it and then what I'll do is I'll tie a bow around it with this ribbon like a package you know so I'll show you how I do that too but now I'm kind of just in a waiting pattern for my caramel corn to cook and then cool. I'm not going to put it in these tins obviously until it cools down. And then the rest of it will go in my big glass dish here, or glass container there. So I will be back. Okie dokie you guys, I'm back and my caramel corn is nice and cooled off. 
and I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. It really doesn't even stick to the bottom of the pan though, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and load some in to my little boxes here. My hands are clean, I promise. Let it cool off a little bit. Let me get my other one. This one is definitely all the way cool because it's a shallower pan. I can show you this one. Put the ribbon on it and everything. Show you how I do the ribbon. Tasting <laughs> for you guys at the end there. Ah, oh, can't wait. Here we go. I just pick up the saran wrap, obviously, and there goes the lid. Here we go. Let me get a pair of scissors and we'll go ahead and do some ribbon around this. And I normally don't put a label on these because, you know, I know who it's going to. I'm not going to do a fancy, fancy, fancy schmancy bow on this. I'm just going to do a kind of like I've been, I would do to a package, you know, around the top. And then, yeah, maybe. Turn it over. back over, pull it up, and pull out enough to make myself a pretty bow, that'll do it, and then just do a, what I call a square bow, which is just take your left over your right piece right tail, pull it tight, straighten them out as much as I can there before I pull it too tight. twist this underneath to bring the right side up and then we have a pretty bow. There we go. And then I'm just going to dovetail bit long. Dovetail between two of the snowflakes. We have it. A little bit of caramel corn. Mmm. All right. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to add a little bit more corn.
Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm all finished with my caramel popcorn. Oh my goodness, it turned out so good, you guys. Let me show you. You know, when I, of course, when I go in to the container here, I try to find the ones that are covered really nicely. There we go, that are covered with caramel. Mmm, crunchy, sugary, so good, so good, and so easy. This is another easy one, and it makes a ton of it, so you could give it to many, 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 many people for gifts if you'd like. I'm going to leave it in this container uh, for us to snack on and for... Other family members that come to snack on, visitors, I can put a bowl of this out, whatever. This is great, a great go-to little snack to have around the house in the wintertime, anytime really. But I always make it in the winter around Christmas. So anyway, got my candy corn tins all ready to go to give to my hair dresser and my nail lady tomorrow. <laughs> And I'm really happy that I went ahead and did this so I have a gift to give them. I don't always give a gift like this. Sometimes I'll give a gift card or something like that. But I'm glad I made something homemade this year. It's always, I think it's all, I'd rather receive a homemade gift, you know. But, but anyway, that's it for this one. So I'm just going to say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.